Hi everybody, I'm Julie Eau Claire. Part of your child's success in school depends on your relationship with the teacher. Well, joining us now is Jenna Oberdorf from Parents Magazine with some tips that'll take you straight to the head of the class. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So we all want to build a good relationship with our child's teacher, but it's sometimes it's hard to figure out exactly what to do. You say come into the classroom with questions, but not too many. How do we balance that out? How do you know how many is, is just the right amount? Right. You want to come in with a few questions about your child's year and how everything's going to go, um, but you don't want to come in with a preconceived notion of what they should learn, when they should learn it, and how they should learn it. That's the teacher's job. Um, so when you come in the first day, be really positive and open and, and ask any questions that you have, but try to put a positive spin on them at all times. But you also want to make sure to respect the teacher's authority, uh, which is uh, going to help your relationship with the teacher, but it's also a really good lesson for your child, too. How do you mean? It's really important to respect the teacher. You never want to come in and say, why are you teaching my child this? Why are they sitting this way? You don't want to question the way she runs her classroom. Um, if you don't respect her rules, your, your kid's not going to respect her rules. So it's really important to set an example and, and go follow through with everything that the teacher asks of you and, and try to reinforce those rules at home with your child. And then if you have an issue later on in the year, you bring that up. Right, if separately. you have an issue, you can just schedule a parent-teacher conference and, and talk about it in private. Okay, and so keeping open the lines of communication, you say that's really important. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that exactly? It's really important to stay in touch with the teacher at all times. You want to kind of have a hands-on relationship and be really available. If she has a problem with your child, you want to be there to respond to it. If she needs a favor, you want to be there. You want to have this um, you know, balance of a relationship where you each give and take from each other. Okay, and finally you say, play well with others. That's something I tell my children. We all tell our kids, but how does that apply to the parent-teacher relationship? It's just all about having this really nice, friendly relationship with the teacher. You want to volunteer in the classroom and get involved with the other children and the other parents. And um, the better relationship you have with everyone in the classroom, the better year your child is going to have. Okay, so keep the lines of communication open and make sure questions, but not too many. Right. All right, Jenna, thank you so much. Great advice. And if you would like more back-to-school information, you can check out the September issue of Parents Magazine. We would like to hear what you think also. So just send an email to ideas at parents.tv. We'll see you next time.